Hello and happy Mother's Day to all the beautiful, wonderful mamas out there. I am so thankful for y'all and I just want to wish y'all a happy Mother's Day. And I wanted to tribute this book to all of you hardworking mamas. So thank you. And here is our book today. It is called I Love You Stinky Face. And this is by Lisa McCourt. So if you're ready, we're going to get started with our Mother's Day book, okay? I love you, stinky face. I love you, my wonderful child, said Mama as she tucked me in. But I had a question. So the child has a question. I wonder what it could be. Mama, what if I were a big, scary ape? Would you still love me then? Do you think Mama would love if her kid was a big, scary ape. If you were a big, scary ape, I would comb your whole hairy self to make sure you didn't have any tangles. And I would make your birthday cake out of bananas and I would tell you, I love you, my big, scary ape. So mama would still love her child if it was a big, scary ape. But mama, but mama, what if I were a super smelly skunk and I smelled so bad that my name was Stinky Face? Do you think mama would love if her child was called Stinky Face and smelled like a stinky skunk? Then I would give you a bath and sprinkle you with sweet smelling powder. And if you still smelled bad, I wouldn't mind and I would hug you tight and whisper in your ear, I love you stinky face. So mama would still love stinky face the skunk. But mama, but mama, what if I were an alligator with big, sharp teeth that could bite your head off? Oh, wow, with some big, sharp alligator teeth. I wonder what mama will say to that. Well, then I would buy you a bigger toothbrush for your big teeth and make sure that you brush them every night so they'd stay healthy and strong. And if you had a sore throat, I would stick my head right inside your ginormous jaws to make sure you were okay. And I would say, I love you, my ferocious alligator. So would mama still love her big alligator? Yeah, she'd still love her big alligator. But mama, what if I were a terrible meat eating dinosaur with razor sharp claws that ripped my sheets to shreds every night while I slept? So what if the child was a dinosaur? Do you think mama would still love her baby? Well, then I would give you plenty of meat to eat if that is what you liked. And I would sew your sheets back together every day because after all ripping them would be an accident and i would tuck you into your newly mended sheets every night and say i love you my sweet terrible dinosaur so would mother still love her baby if baby was a dinosaur yeah but mama but mama, what if I were a swamp creature with slimy smelly seaweed hanging from my body and I couldn't ever leave the swamp or I would die? Ooh, what an imagination. So what if the child was a swamp creature? Well, then I would build a house right next to the swamp and I would stay with you and take care of you always. And when you splash to the surface, I would say, I love you, my slimy little swamp monster. So mama would still love her baby if it was a swamp monster. Okay. 
that's a good mama. But mama, but mama, what if I were a green alien from Mars and I ate bugs instead of peanut butter? <laughs> what if the baby ate bugs instead of peanut butter? And it was an alien. Well, then I could dress you in colors that showed off your nice green skin. And I would pack your lunchbox with beetles and spiders and ants and grasshoppers and the tastiest bugs you ever had. And I would pack a note with all the bugs that said, I love you, little greenie. Bon appetit. So mama would still love her child if the child was an alien who ate bugs. But, but mama, but mama, what if I were a cyclops and I had just one big giant eye in the middle of my head? Uh-oh. What do you think mama will say to being a cyclops with a one big eyeball? Then I would look you right in your giant eye and say, I love you, my little Cyclops. And I would sing you a lullaby until your one giant eyelid got droopier and droopier. And it finally closed and he fell fast asleep. So Mama would sing little Cyclops a lullaby. What a sweet Mama. And the baby said, I love you, Mom. I love you, Mama. So that's the thing about mamas is that they always love us and they always want to take care of us, whether we're wee little or we're wee big. Even bigger than them able to hold us in their laps and rock us to sleep, mamas will always love us. So happy Mother's Day to all of y'all wonderful mamas, and thank you for tuning in. I appreciate y'all. Bye.